money, hold up, gotta cut up, lot of orders, dollars, quarters, rich, water, rich, water, a bitch, on a, on a, on a, on a. Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Jenna Cuomo and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to catch a vibe because that is exactly what we are over here. So before I get into anything, I just want to address the elephant in the room. I disappeared. I did. I know. I disappeared for like, I guess it's like a month now. Um, <laughs> we're going to get into all of that in the video. I just wanted to catch up, you know, and what better way to catch up with y'all than doing my makeup. I'm going to get into everything that's been going on, honestly, in the past month. The best way to watch this is probably to do your makeup with me or have it on in the background while you're cleaning, cooking, doing anything because it's girl time it's girl talk time okay oh yeah and before i even get into anything as you guys can see i got my locks back in oh i love it i love 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 locks like if you know me you know that this is what i be jacking is like my true form like i just love full locks oh and i already have my lashes on and i already did my brows because i did not want to do that on camera it's just prime and then i'm gonna get right into it so where have i been honestly i haven't really been anywhere like i haven't been doing anything really other than work and chilling as you guys may know i started a new nurse residency or new grad residency job and if you know you know a new grad residency job is honestly just school all over again with the modules and education it has been taking a good chunk of my time not not really all of my time because it's like i only work three days a week so it's not like overwhelming i am making a lot of time for other things as well so i feel like my schedule is like jam packed what do i want to do right now do i want to do a full face my residency program is a year but i think my orientation is like nine months um i haven't used this foundation in a minute so I forgot how it like works and what it really works with let's see because i'm not trying to look crazy because i am going out right after this yeah so my residency is nine months so there's a lot of education that goes with it i am in my um icu new grad residency so it's like we have modules due by the end of every month and each module is like basically about like a body system or something like that and then we have like different educations that we have to do in between those as well so it's like who told me to wear white today actually mm, that wasn't smart but yeah we have like different educations to do as well in a couple months we're going to be doing an education about like a crt machine or something like that or like sepsis or dysrhythmias like it's like very heavily educational based but i actually really like it because i would rather you teach me all of this before i'm by myself so that i have the material and have a base before throwing me into the field i don't know i think low-key my residency program i'm not gonna say they baby us but they do a lot for us and they give us a lot of support so I never feel I'm not ready or I don't feel like I'm not going to be ready when I do end up by myself, which is going to be sometime like mid next year. I am happy about that. I already freaking dealt with a CRT machine with one of my patients and it was so freaking cool. A CRT machine is continuous renal replacement therapy. It's basically like dialysis and it's to like filter your blood if you're hemodynamically unstable. One of my patients had it and I saw how to set it up, how to start it, do the intakes and outputs because it's a very strict INO and I was doing all the charting and I felt very good. A lot of the feedback that I'm getting from my preceptors and just people in general is that I'm doing a very good job. So I'm just taking things as they come and I'm just really just excited to learn and open to learn. I know when to say I'm wrong, I know when to correct myself, but at the same time, 
I get down. Like, I really do get down and be on top of my shit. Honestly, I've just been enjoying my time as a new grad and asking questions. Like, I feel like the best thing that I could do for myself at this point is ask all the questions I need to ask because critical care is kind of scary, not gonna lie. Because me right now, I'm on the field, but I always have somebody to go to that is like looking over me in the future me being by myself later it's a little scary to think about because these are very critical patients and you have to really know what you're doing so that's why i feel like i'm trying to make the best out of my preceptorship because i want to be the best nurse i could be as soon as possible and i know it's not going to come like overnight like definitely it's with practice and like experience but like i really want to do my best very soon and like immediately and i know that's everybody but it's like i'm trying really hard for it just enjoying the ride as well so yeah like i was saying i've been doing a lot of work but i'm also making time to do other things and i think that's why my schedule is just so jam-packed and i haven't been able to record actually that's a lie you know it's crazy i have a video that i was supposed to upload that's not on my channel right now i'll probably upload it after this or not i'm not sure but it I have a video that was supposed to upload a video of me doing like those braided wigs like i don't know if you saw me do like what was it it was like a faux lock wig from amazon i got another sponsorship from a different company to do like a braid like a knotless braided wig and i did it but it's like it's like it just it's not it's not like horrible but it's like I don't know i don't think i'll wear that outside like those type of wigs like braided wigs stuff like that i feel like i would only wear it for like video purposes so you can't see the back honestly in person i don't think it gives as much as like a lace wig or like a boneless straight 13 by 6 frontal if you not make sense like i'm pretty sure there's people out there that could make it work that way I am not that person I am limited in my abilities and I feel like it didn't come out as good as I wanted to so I kind of just like I didn't forget about it or scrapped it but like because it's edited I just didn't put it out and then like two three weeks went by and I was just focusing on other things I think after I post this video I might post it I don't know I don't know I know there's people out there that would like the content would buy the wig because that's what they use and like what they like to wear I think just for me I might have to stop doing like these braided wigs full lock wigs type things and just like stick to frontals because I am not a professional and it's showing so I don't want to just keep embarrassing myself out in these streets oh my god I feel so bad because I told the company that I was going to be posting the video very soon and that was like a month ago the makeup is coming out cute i went to six flags sometime last week i did my makeup and i don't know what it is maybe it's just the way i'm using the product so i got these new products from sephora charlotte tilbury airbrush setting spray everybody raves about this i'm telling you and i also got the laura mercier uh translucent honey setting powder in blur like it's a blurring effect type of setting powder mind you i have the translucent honey um regular like the regular one this is the regular one and this is the blur the regular one works perfectly fine on me like it sets my makeup makes it look flawless airbrushed all of that so i'm like okay the blur would do the same thing no i think my problem was i used two new products at once and i should have just used one but i used the blur and i used the this setting sp uh, spray instead of using my regular mac fix plus this gets your makeup set like this your makeup is this your makeup is not going anywhere like it's super 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 matte so i used the blur and i used the charlotte tilbury and i hated i hated it so bad like it was so bad like i was complaining about it all day i hated it i never hated my makeup so much at this point in my makeup career and what i've been doing for myself i just knew it wasn't up to par it looked horrible i don't know if it was like because i'm using two new products 
but at the same time i have a friend that uses both of those products so i'm just like is it me am i the drama like what is it because i used it as my setting powder like i used it all over my face is that the problem like i need help i need tips and tricks for this because this i can use all over and it's fine so am i not supposed to use the blurring one all over and should i mix it with this or should i just mix these two with this i don't know i want to incorporate that blur into my makeup because i bought it so Oh my god the life of a girl man the life of a girl it is so stressful yeah i went to six flags last week it was so fun there was nobody fucking there originally i was supposed to be going for fright fest but it just so happened that the day me and the person i was going with were free it was not a fright fest day but it was fine we had no wait times for any ride we didn't have to get a flash pass usually we have to get a flash pass to skip the long lines but there was no line like you could go up to any ride and be the first in line that was fun but yeah but i just been trying to do a lot more or incorporate a lot more like activities in my day to day basis because i feel like oh my god what is that ari lennox song when she's like i need people hold on i need to play it i just started thinking about life like i'm lonely and then all the furniture you get does not keep you warm at night and then i realized oh my god, god I, I need people. people that's how i've been feeling lately like oh my god i need good people around me i need good vibes i need friends i need love like i'm just all about good vibes right now and sharing that with the people around me so i've been trying to just link up with people when i can honestly like i'm not over stressing myself and overwhelming myself because i am a new grad nurse so that will always come first but i have a lot of free time sometimes during the week so what y'all trying to do you want to go to dinner y'all want to go brunch you want to go shopping real quick like you want to sleep real quick like what what we doing what we doing because i just want to do it like honestly just do it because life is short and i don't want to be one of those nurses that well into her career and realizing she didn't make enough time for the people that mattered and i'm trying to make the most time for the people that matters to me yeah i've just been doing a lot but i definitely want to continue to stay consistent on youtube i don't know why it's so hard for me like oh my god does anybody else have this problem like if you are a youtuber or if you're not just a viewer and you you also make videos like how do you stay consistent consistently like because there's times where i'm consistent sometimes it just doesn't last and i'm just like i don't freaking know so yeah i just been trying to stay sane that's what it is i want to be sane like i don't want to feel oh oh before i even say anything like that hold on because we are at 700 subscribers i'm at 700 subscribers 700 subscribers like that is actually crazy to say i've been on the road to 1k for so freaking long and i feel like it's right around the corner and it's crazy because i went mia a little bit for three weeks and during those three weeks i gained like 100 subscribers and i wasn't posting anything so now it makes me think like damn if i was posting still consistently where would i be right now like that's the stuff that really gets to me sometimes when i realize i'm slacking or i'm not completely on my shit like bitch you could be so much further than you are if you grab the bull by the balls is that the saying grab the bull by the balls no grab the bull by the horn okay i guess i'll post that video because i don't have anything else to post next week so i guess i'll post that video of me doing the braided wig but don't come for me y'all like please don't come for me like i know it's not gonna look the best but come on support your girl like support is everything um and speaking of trying to just add 101 things to my schedule basically i started pilates a couple days ago was my first class i had to do like an intro class i have this other friend that i graduated with in nursing school and she just celebrated her 100th pilates class or something like that like she's really into pilates and she's always talking about how good it makes her feel how strong she feels after a class and like just how pilates just holistically changed 
her body and mind and i'm really into that right now like that sounds like exactly like the stuff that i want to be doing for my body right now because i don't think i'm the fittest person because i'm not like i don't go to the gym I'll get to that in a second. I don't go to the gym and I don't eat the best, but I feel Pilates will definitely help my body feel a little bit stronger than it is and holistically mindful. Yeah, I don't go to the gym because I hate a public gym. Like, honestly, if I had a private gym in my garage or my backyard or something, I would be a gym body. Like, I would probably be buff as fuck, honestly, because I'm all about privacy. Like, I'm a very private girl. <laughs> coming from a girl sitting in front of a camera recording a youtube video yes i'm a very private girl people don't really know too much about me they only know what i let them know i'm a very private girl so being that is the case clearly i'm a very private person in the gym like i really don't want to be around people if i'm working out especially like working out my body i don't know how to explain it like i don't want to be around people especially men like if i could go to all women's gym i would do that too but i feel like the pilates option is just a little better for me just considering that it's already all women's and it's targeting exactly what i really want to do and i'm gonna have an instructor to help me instead of just going to all women's gym and working out by myself if that makes sense so yeah i'm not really like a gym girl even though i'm paying every month for a gym membership like this video if you have a gym membership that's subscribed every month taking money out every month and you haven't been there in like a year i don't know why i still have that open I think it's because I have to go in person to cancel it. That's so stupid. Like, why do gym memberships do that? Why can I not cancel it from the app or from online? Like, why do I have to go in person to cancel something? That's a scam. I still have a gym membership and it's charging every month. Uh, I have to go cancel. But yeah, so I'm going to start Pilates. I'm going to get a membership and try to go at least twice a week maybe three maybe even four times but at least twice a week because I really want to see results and they say you need to go at least twice a week to see results like you're going to see results and it needs to be at least twice a week so i'm gonna do that hopefully take you guys on that journey with me i don't know if you guys are interested in that the classes gets filled very quickly when you get a membership you could like schedule far in advance and that's perfect for me because i get my work schedule far in advance like i know my schedule for work up until december 2nd or something like that so i'm able to schedule my pilates classes accordingly I don't like uncertainty i'm the most like straightforward cutthroat person having a one week before or two week before work schedule not knowing when i could do pilates because even two weeks out people are booking classes so i need a good month out to make sure i get what i want i'm talking a lot i feel like because i just haven't seen you guys or i haven't spoken to you guys in a minute so i have a lot to say but what's new what is new okay let me set my face and like finish my makeup and stuff and i'll come back because if i keep talking i'm gonna be here all freaking day I love a good makeup day like my makeup was not sitting like this at six flags if my makeup was looking like this at six flags i probably would have gotten a picture we live and we learn where's my lip products those are here that's about it honestly we just caught up a little bit i got you guys a little up to date with what's going on with me i miss you guys and i'm gonna try <laughs> so 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 very hard to stay consistent we are at 700 subscribers i could not be any more grateful any more happy like 1k is right there like 1k we gonna get her we gonna get her you gonna sneak up on her and snatch her from her ponytail like <laughs> but until then we'll be classy ladies and do what we can so thank you guys for watching i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i hope you guys enjoy me and if you did don't forget to like comment and subscribe to your girl and show some love i'll see you guys in my next video bye